At five, experts are looking into the long term impact of the massive flooding on wildlife. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis joining us now. And Lauren, let's talk about wildlife officers you spoke to, and they're already seeing some changes. John Robin, the biggest is how wildlife is moving to higher ground. As for long term effects, it'll be a while before we know. This is a hellbender salamander, and the TWRA says its officers were able to rescue some of them about 10 and put them closer to water after they were displaced. It's been a busy week for the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. Right now, they're keeping an eye on animal behavior. We saw a lot of different uh, small mammals like moles and voles and shrews and small furry little critters making their way for higher ground. You saw beavers going, coming out of the water, going up high. Uh, a lot of birds were fleeing. People in Irwin reported seeing bears climbing trees just ahead of the waters rising. Matthew Cameron, a spokesperson, says TWRA officers even rescued a man and his two dogs. He says the man was trapped inside his home along the Nolichucky River. It created a really, really dangerous situation for himself and our officers, but the man was mainly concerned about his dogs first, so he sent his dogs out ahead of himself. Cameron says that he saw firsthand two dead fish that were washed away to a parking lot. And when the water receded, they were just kind of trapped there and they dried out, much like uh, when the tide comes in at the beach, it leaves some stuff and it goes back out and things get trapped. That's kind of what it looked like to me, but we haven't seen these huge die-offs of a fish that you might expect in a catastrophic type of flooding event that we saw. He says when it comes to the impact of this hurricane on wildlife, only time will tell. There are definitely some fish that have been displaced when you're talking uh, 1.3 million gallons per second going over that Nala Chucky Dam. You know, any of that kind of flow, fish, they can't withstand that kind of flow. They're going to go wherever the current takes them. So we suspect that a lot of fish that were upstream in the Pigeon, the French Broad, and the Nala Chucky Rivers were carried downstream. That TWRA spokesperson says fish pushed over the Nullichucky River will most likely swim down to Douglas Lake or swim upstream. Wow, that is uh, illustrative and enlightening on what happened to the wildlife. Lauren, we'll see you at 6. Thank you.